What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Got a bunch of Samsung stories, so let's jump right into it. Samsung's CEO let the world and Samsung's employees know that there's no compromising on product quality. He let them know that, you know, take your time get it right, let's not mess anything up, let's make sure all our products are safe. And that goes hand in hand with what they're doing with the Galaxy S8. Galaxy S8 normally probably would have came out in about March of 2017, but now it's getting pushed back just slightly to make sure that the product quality of it is you know, two thumbs up, perfect, no issues, so not like anything they had with the Galaxy Note 7. And speaking of the Galaxy Note 7, there's been a new report coming out that they will have the issue that caused the Galaxy Note 7 explosions and fires to happen later this month. There've been, there's been rumors that it's it would come out uh, around this time, and we're getting another, a third story on this, that it will happen at the end of this month that Samsung already knows, but they're getting all their ducks in a row to let the consumers know, I guess, they probably want to put it into some big corporate words that we all fluff over and think sounds marvelous, but really it gives you a darker story to what the actual issue at hand is. I really hope we find out at CES. I think that'd be a great time to sweep it under the rug because of all of another products, but most likely I would assume it's probably going to come at the very end or the middle of January. And lastly is a big story, guys, and it's all about the Galaxy S8. The rumored leak right now is that it's going to have built-in PC-like functionality in it, meaning that you're going to be able to hook up a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor up to your Galaxy S8, and it'll have a PC-like interface, you know, with icons and, you know, just just like a PC, like a Windows PC, you'll be able to use it like that and also use it as a phone when you need to. Now, there's been phones like this in the past that you could do this with. I know Motorola made one. I think Asus made one. So there has been phones that have been able to do this in the past, but nothing like a Samsung or an Apple or you know one of those type manufacturers. This would be huge for Samsung. It would be a huge selling point for them. It would be a big gain for them to sell a device that two, does two things really good, really well, and uh, for one price, because you look at something like an iPhone, which can only do you know, mobile apps and stuff like that. You can only basically use it as a phone. If a Galaxy S8 comes out and you can use it as like a, a computer and a phone and a tablet or whatever you want to call it, that's going to be huge for them. And it's going to be a huge selling point to where people are going to be like, oh, I don't need to buy a computer because it can do this, especially if it has eight gigabytes of RAM. It's going to be an absolute crazy beast. I cannot wait for this news to fully drop. If that's really the truth where you're going to be able to use this as a computer, I'm going to be like, oh. Oh my God, it'd be amazing. I cannot wait. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do this every single day. Question of the day is, would you be interested in using your Galaxy S8 as a PC? You gotta be, come on. It's so cool. You gotta be into it. I know I am. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Product of the day is the Arlo camera. I'm gonna show you a cool video on this tomorrow. Have it all set up. I've already uh, unboxed it, but I'm talking about it again. It's definitely my product of the day. Very, very cool. If you want to pick one up, it's a great little security camera, completely wireless. You can use it anywhere, indoor or outdoor. It can be used in extreme cold or extreme uh, heat as well, rain, snow, the whole gamut. It does it all. Check it out, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. I will see you down the road. Peace.